All right, folks, this is a 230 single phase 50 hertz DAI inverter. DAI inverter, 230 volts, 50 hertz single phase. So once again, folks, due to my previous video, this inverter is not for the US. I can use it for the US if I want to because it's a split phase also. I just got to go into the settings and select it. But as you can see here, it's L1 and neutral for the grid. And also you got the load, L and N. And then you got the generator. You got the, you got the generator, L1 and neutral. That's the generator input. And you got the load input here, which I got the, my meter as a load. So I got approximately 228.7 volts, which is equivalent to 230 volts. And I got uh, one string, a solar panel coming in. I got 14 panels here. So practically it's one string. And I'm testing it. This is just for a testing video. I'm just testing because this inverter is not for the US. It's going to be shipped out soon. And over here I got a battery. All right, I got four terminals for the battery, positive and negative. All right, pos positive on one side, negative on the other side. And this is the battery breaker, 200 amp each. And I, I just, this is all these wires, uh, it's just temporary wires. From the battery, it's temporary wires. All right, I got the uh, LL battery here. This is always, a, I know it's a mess, but this is a temporary connection. This is all about the inverter today. So, um, this is a display screen. The battery is charging. Um, I got 200, sorry, 2,032 kilowatts of solar power coming in. Uh, there is no load to the inverter right now. And there is no grid to the water right now. So, so far, this is just a temporary hookup. All right. So this inverter is shipping out to the Caribbean. It's going to the island of Grenada. All right. This is a 12K. 12KW inverter. A lot of power here. So... If I go to the display screen, walk mode, press the arrow button to select your, uh, this is time of use, alright, if you want the grid to charge the battery or you want the generator to charge the battery, this is exactly how you do it right here in this display screen, alright. Escape. Uh, you go to grid settings. All right, as you can see, uh, it is set at uh, single phase, 50 to 60 hertz, and also is a split phase. Also, so if I want to use it in the United States, I can if I want to, but at this time it's shipping out. Out of. All right, folks. Once again, so we got three MP. PT, maximum power point track in here. So I, I can, in, in real, real word is, if I don't want to use a combiner box, I don't have to, because I can just string everything right here, because there's so many terminals to, to connect to. But I will use a combiner box because I want to be fuses. I'm going to use fuses, so, or breakers, something to protect my solar wiring, but it's you can just string all your wires coming in straight in here, man. It's so simple and easy. And then you got uh, you got this uh, notches. You flip it up, you push your wires in, close it down. Simple. Um, what I like about this inverter, 
um, you know, it's very huge, but has a cooling system. Very rare, you see no fans on the side, there's no fans to the sides, the, you know, it's just a, a DC uh, switch and an on and off switch, all right? So um, if I click on the battery, this is the battery setting. I got a 400 amp hour battery. I got a 400 amp hour battery charging at um, 40 amps and this charging 185 amps. But like I said, this is just a test. I'm just testing it to make sure that it works before I ship it out. Um, so once it installed, I'll keep you guys posted, man. You press escape to go back. Um, if you want to see, let me see, you want to see the, the grid. I have nothing hooked up to the grid right now. But like I said, it's a single phase. Escape. Um, gen port. If you want to run a generator or you want to do smart loads, or you want to do a micro input or micro inverters, you can do that. You just got to set it up here. Um, you see when you want it to come on or when you want it to shut off. So this, this is what you call a smart inverter from DAE. Escape to go back to the main screen. And so this is gives you so much information here, man. Such, this is actually a plug and play, man, because once you hook your bodies up right, everything just sink in like no problem, man. Uh, it's, it's such, it's, these, these inverters, man, I really have much, nothing terrible to say about these inverters. This actually like a plug and play if you know what you're doing. So peace out, man. All right, folks, so this inverter is 12 inches in depth, 12 inches deep, and 29 inches in length. And 18 and a half in the wheat. So 18 and a half in wheat from one end to the other. 